Whoa. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Um, it's now Friday. I uh, back with Mercedes, and I just wanted to show you on this bonnet if I can capture it in the light. Uh, there we go. So I didn't get around to actually polishing this bonnet last night. So these tiny little marks looks like a cable or something has been slapped over the car this is the kind of thing i'm looking for on a new car detail so it's only minor but out in the sun that's just going to catch the eye so i'm going to give that a polish there's some more there we go there's another little mark there give that a polish I hate it when they make a bonnet skin so soft that you can't push the polish on it. And this thing is just a, a panel wipe to get rid of the oils that are on the panel so that I can actually see if I've corrected what I've polished. Our main shutter door has been broken for a few days. Um, the uh, electric panel doesn't work anymore. You've got to see how long it takes to pull up. Clock, pretty busy day already. I've got the Tesla outside, um, just trying to do a video as well um, for the owner. And yeah, it keeps raining though, so I don't know what the uh, footage is going to be like. Yesterday I used the Koch Chemi wheel cleaner. Uh, well, I say wheel cleaner, it's an uh, iron dissolver. You can actually use it on the body because um, it's pH neutral and it will dissolve any iron fallout. And being a white car, this should show up a hell of a lot better than the red car yesterday. And obviously you do this because although these are new cars, they've been outside, they've been next to railway lines, they've been maybe on boats coming across from Europe or this one's come from America. So they've, they've had a bit of a a journey to get to where they are so they've probably picked up a lot of fallout and this shows up very well because it it bleeds out purple or red when it starts to dissolve the iron particles um, and what dealers normally do is they just give the car a quick wash stick the sealant onto it and then take four five six seven eight hundred pounds depending on which dealer you're going to and say oh look there's your newly protected car you get home feel it and feel all the rough bits on it because they haven't um, cleaned it properly. So this is just another little bit of um, why, why you should gonna go to a detailer. Obviously myself, uh, if you want to choose me, that's awesome. Go to a detailer to get the car done because it's usually the same price um, and you get a hell of a lot better service. So that's just after a, about 20, 30 seconds, you can already start to see and it does show a lot better on the white car. The iron particles, they start to dissolve purple. And of course, the wheel, it looks very dramatic, but it's a pH neutral uh, substance, so it's not gonna discolor any of the brake components. Right, the Tesla's all washed. It's back into the uh, workshop. Jules is gonna have this now to start the paint protection film. I'm gonna finish the Mercedes. Have you ever seen a bigger screen than that in the inside of a car? How can I speed this up? Uh, driving, ludicrous, max batch. I'm only kidding, Phil, I'm not gonna do that to your car. Right, I'm finally back on the Mercedes, washing the Tesla to forever. I need to get this done. I had to get that done though because it needs to go in next door for Jules to start putting the paint protection film on. I've got a feeling the videos may get a bit more sparse from here on in because I'm a bit pushed for time now, but I'll see what I can do. Oh, for f A little quick explanation. I've just finished polishing the car. I haven't got long. I need to crack on putting the, why do I keep saying crack on? Uh, I'm putting uh, the sealants on. This is Crystal Serum. It's G-Technic's flagship sealant. It's amazing. It contains uh, voodoo, which helps it to bond to the paint. It does not contain voodoo. I use it not because I'm paid to use it, but because it's very, very good. They guarantee it for seven years, this one. I'm not applying that onto the paint today. I'm applying Crystal Serum Light which is about 70% of the strength of Crystal Serum. Slightly easier to apply. This is Kamikaze ISM that is a top coat. G-Technic do their own top coat called EXO, 
I don't personally get on with it. That's nothing against the product. I'm sure it's very good and a lot of other detailers use it, but this is the one I use that I particularly like. And you apply it on one of these. This is a foam block wrapped in a suede pad. And I get the product out with one of these little dippers, which I've accidentally bought, I think 10,000 of these. So if anyone needs some of these, let me know. I've got thousands and thousands of them. The other things you'll need, brand new clean cloths and a light so that you can see uh, what you're doing. Obviously I've got a lot of light in the unit, but it's always handy just to be able to move it around and get it exactly where you want to be able to see so that you know you've got all the crystal serum off. Take the tags off because they can scratch your car. Be careful not to knock this over. You can put the cap back on it, I don't because it's just quicker not to, but don't knock it because that's many, many pounds worth of product. Literally wipe it on quite quickly, making sure it covers everything and immediately buff it off. Flip the towel, then go further than you applied it just to make sure that you haven't pushed any of the product out the swap cloth and then this is where I use my inspection light to check. So applied properly and with the paint prepared properly as well, uh, this will last for five years. Obviously the dealerships don't apply it properly and they don't, they definitely don't prepare the paint properly at all. I mean they barely prepare the paint at all. Okay, so that's the crystal serum light applied. Turn this down. Uh, crystal serum light applied. Next up is Kamikaze ISM. What's that about? A millimeter? Milliliter, sorry. And look how thick it is when you put it on here. And you, there's not as much urgency with this product because you put it on and you leave it on for five, ten minutes or so and then buff it off. Um, unlike the G-Technic that you uh, put on and buff off straight away. And if you don't buff it off straight away, it cures and then you have to sand it off. That's why um, they say professional use only. Well, I mean, I've been applying it for maybe coming up to a year now. And when I first started with it, God, I couldn't, I couldn't get on with stuff. I was ringing up G-Technic all the time saying, this stuff stuff's useless, it doesn't work, but it does work, you just need to know how to apply it properly. Mercedes is now finished, so it's got a coat of uh, G-Technic Crystal Serum Light and then Kamikaze ISM to finish. G-Technic itself is guaranteed for five years. The ISM lasts around 18 months to 24 months. I feel like I've walked around this car millions of times already, but this is what a new car should look like. Got to go pick the customer up from the station now and um, pack up, clear up, and then that's it for the week, really. It's the end of the day and I've drawn the short straw. I've got to let the shutter down. 